What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it is summer now and I actually want to share with you guys this week a quick and easy 10 to 15 minute makeup tutorial that I've actually been using throughout the entire spring. And the reason why I want to show you this is because I think it might be really good for an everyday look in the summer because there's no foundation, it's beginner friendly, and it only takes like 10 to 15 minutes of your morning. And also because I've actually been using it throughout like my 10 hour dance days and I haven't had to like really touch up and I noticed that it seems like it stays on pretty well. So I don't want to say that it's like 100% sweat proof because I'm pretty sure it's not, but I think it'll be really good for if you're just kind of going out and you don't want to like, a little bit of light sweat is okay as long as you don't go like wipe it like that. And if you do, honestly, you can just touch it up. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, first thing we're gonna talk about are all the things that we're gonna need for this makeup look. The first thing on the list is basically a brightening sunscreen, which can also be replaced with a regular sunscreen or like purple primers, green primers, anything you think you might need. Next thing on the list is basically a loose setting powder, powdered highlights, which you technically don't need all three of these, but you will see me use all of them in this video. Contour blush. This one is a cream blush and this one is a powder blush. I would say if you're a beginner, all you really need is going to be the powder blush, even though you're gonna see me use both in this video. Brow pencil, eyeliner, and lipstick. And then for all the tools that you're going to need, basically these are like the plushy types. These are for the powdered highlights. One small brush for the blush, unless you prefer the big one. I prefer the small one because it's a little more precise. And then one small contour brush, and one big contour brush. Okay, so after all of your uh, regular skincare routine, first thing you do is basically the brightening sunscreen slash primer slash whatever you decide to use and make sure to get your neck. Next thing is, if you decide to use the cream blush, this is where the cream blush actually goes on, so that's before the setting powder. If you don't use cream blush, then you can basically just skip over this part and go straight into the powder. And I honestly don't recommend using liquid blush, especially if you're like a beginner. For the cream blush, if you are using it, you don't need to press that hard. And then you kind of just go over a little under the cheekbone. And it is going to be a little strong in the beginning to begin with, because there's going to be like a lot of powders that are gonna go over it. And I would actually recommend to just, after this, you just use your fingers to kind of like go over and kind of rub it a little bit. It softens the edge. We're not using um, eyeshadow either. What I like to do is if you're using the cream blush, I would kind of just use like the edge and just dab a little bit like that. And then just kind of go over lightly the two sides of my eyelids. So it's kind of light. You can also make it stronger. Next is going to be setting powder. So like usual, just over your entire face. And if you like, you can also put it over your neck. I like to do that because the sunscreen kind of, I don't know, I kind of don't like the stickiness of a sunscreen. So this next part where I use the purple highlighter and the uh, more porcelain colored highlighter is very optional. First highlight that I personally like to use is the purple one because I have like kind of like a flat face over here. So that's gonna help brighten it up a little more. Now, if you don't think you need that much of a brightening effect over here, you can skip over that part. So just a triangle and above the cheekbone, not on the cheekbone, but above it. And then also on the side right here, cause my, I don't know what part of this face it's called like right here it dips in a little bit so I like to just brighten it and then the same goes on the other side of your face the next thing I like to do is I like to take the more porcelain colored highlight and just kind of go over this part again and the next thing I like to do is basically you can choose either a more porcelain color or the slightly more pink tinted highlight and just kind of go over like basically your smile line area and your nose, the middle of your nose and the forehead. So after brightening the middle part of my face, I like to kind of just go over my entire face really lightly with a uh, kind of slightly warm toned highlighter and basically just over everywhere except for the face bone on the side because this basically this basically just gives you like the effect of like having foundation on 
without having to actually use foundation. So this is basically how it looks. So for those who did not use a cream blush, we're actually going to be using the powdered blush now. And I use a small brush, like I said, it helps with precision. And I kind of like to just kind of use this and go over like right under the outside of your eye corner, your eye corner, the outside, and then down here, right under the triangle area and kind of just circle brush it backwards a little bit like that. And then I like to use the blush and just kind of go over my eyelids and then bring it around the eye right here where we kind of put blush over here earlier. And the same goes for the other side, right under the eye on the outside corner. And then the cheek, brushing it outwards. And then the eyelids, and then bring it over to the side. And then there's something a little extra that I like to do is I like to put a little bit on the tip of my nose. Next thing on the list is your eyebrows. If you need. Some people have like really dark eyebrows already, really well shaped. You don't need it if you don't want to. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually start contouring and we're gonna start with the small brush. So with the small brush, we're basically gonna go over our nose. What you wanna do is you wanna take the small brush, this one's angled, and you want to start about right here, like a little two thirds of your, the first two thirds of your brows and you wanna just kind of like do like, it's almost like a C, but I like to just bring it all the way down like that and then like, the tip of the nose. And then same for the other side. So you start roughly about right here and you just wanna bring it around and down like that. Now it's not that strong on the camera. And then you wanna take the bigger brush and basically just go over from your the top of your cheekbone along the side of your face, down and kind of in and then you wanna do the same on the other side down and then kind of just in. And then you're basically just done with your face. Like the majority part of your face is done. Honestly, I'm gonna say eyeliner is very optional. So you don't need to do it if you don't want. But I would say for beginners, I recommend using liquid because it's a lot easier to control. This one's a gel. So I'm gonna, act, I'm gonna use liquid today. And if you don't want like a very strong eyeliner look, you can basically just do like the end of your eyes like this. I'm gonna need the mirror for this. So basically just like that. It's like, it's very, very light on the camera. It's a little stronger in person, but it's very, very light on the camera. Just like that. Okay, so you see how it's just like basically at the end, it's like about this long. Because this is a more daily look, so I don't like do really strong makeup. And the last thing you want to do is your lipstick. And because it's a lip tint, this is what I like to do. I just use a little bit and do the inside of my lower lip. And then just do that. And you want it softer on the edges, just use your fingers and soften it. So this is basically the final look of the makeup process. It's very easy and once you actually get the hang of it, you can finish it in maybe, I would say like 10, between 10 to 15 minutes. So it's very good for if you are in a rush in the morning and you or you don't wanna like wake up super early. I do this to class a lot and I dance in it every Monday, like from 10 to eight. It's like 10 hours and my makeup basically just, just doesn't really melt. So that's why I think this is a really good like summer look, like a summer, easy summer look, which if you sweat a little bit, you should be okay. But then again, if you have like, maybe like oily skin or something like that, you might wanna bring like a powder to touch up. And honestly, I would say if you want to kind of touch up not just the powder part, like with the color part, you are going to need to bring your highlighter because the base of this makeup 
with no foundation is the highlighter. The highlighter is what's giving you kind of like the pigment. So, so if you think you're going to need a touch up, I would say all you really need is going to be this. Or if you are afraid of the pigment, like kind of changing a little bit, I would say bring your highlighter. But other than that, this is really easy 10 to 15 minute early in the morning everyday look. I hope I did okay for this tutorial because I'm honestly, I'm not that great at tutorials. But there's a first for everything, right? Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped at least some of you. Hopefully, um, let me know in the comments below what you think I didn't do well or what I should improve on and I can improve that next time for you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!